Today we're gonna take a look at the AK Mini Diffuser, which is a diffuser that goes head to head with Cygnus Tech. Uh, it's marketed as optimized for Olympus plus the Olympus 60mm lens plus the Godox V2050 flash, which is a very popular kit these days. And this diffuser is kind of optimized for that, so it will be very interesting to try it. And also I will compare it to the Cygnus Tech so you can see the difference in how they render photos. On the old AK diffuser, the original one that is a lot larger than this one, you also had this white thing that you can attach under the lens to get even more diffusion. Uh, but on that one I felt like that this white thing was protruding too much, so I almost never used it because it was so hard to get close to the insects. But on this AK Mini, this part is a lot smaller and doesn't protrude much at all. So now I find myself actually keeping it on all the time. I get a little bit more light from the underside, I get a softer overall diffusion and it doesn't really get in the way that much. So that's a great improvement I think over the original AK diffuser. We have a tiny ladybug here, very tiny. of ladybug larvas today in different stages. I just saw one that was just in transition between larva and ladybug and you can kind of see where the colors and the dots come from. <laughs> so that was pretty cool. I've never seen that. I always wonder how it looks. And uh, right here we have uh, another one uh, which is uh, in a, a little bit later stage I think. Let's try to photograph this one. Okay, so we snapped a few photos. Maybe indoors Michael can show us how uh, you assemble this diffuser and how that compares to assembling the Cygnus Tech. The AK diffuser is pretty simple to assemble. It's not as fast or as simple as with the Cygnus Tech diffuser, but still it's not a big problem. You have these parts, you simply snap them together with the buttons and it's pretty easy to figure out what goes where. One strength of the AK diffuser that you don't see on the Cygnus Tech is that uh, it has a white backside here on the inside towards the flash. And this gives you some extra reflection on the inside and this leads to better conservation of the light that comes from the flash, which in turn gives you a brighter photo with the same flash strength. So you can use the flash on a lower strength and still get the same exposure. You also have this uh, pretty neat uh, Raynox 250 holder. Basically if you use this thing for your Raynox, this Raynox holder, you can snap it on the front of your lens, but also when you're not using it, you can just snap it here uh, on this holder here. Uh, if I can match it, yeah, <laughs> like this. And that's pretty handy uh, to easily remove your Raynox 250 when you're not using it. Thank you for that, Indoors Michael. Now let's snap some more photos. See some Italian striped bugs here. Let's try to capture some shots. There were a lot of them, probably siblings. They looked young, uh, but they are fast. 
at least when they are this small. So uh, it was really hard to try to stack them. Not sure if I got any successful stacks. Got a pretty good shot of this insect here. But look at the glare here in the eyes. In the corner here of the eye you can see there is a little bit of sunlight hitting the eye. And just that little bit of sunlight, it wasn't even covered in sunlight, kind of destroys the whole picture. You always get this weird glare when you shoot in direct sunlight and that is why I never do that when I'm shooting insects. I always try to cover the sun uh, with myself or with the camera or with whatever so that you're shooting in the shade with only the light from the flash and the ambient light that kind of bounces off the ground. That is how you get the nicest pictures. I spotted another beautiful grey silverish uh, stink bug. Let's see if we can capture it. It was a bit hard to get him to sit still, but I think I might have gotten at least one good stack. So as you can see already, the AK Mini Diffuser renders beautiful photos. Uh, my question though is how does it compare with the Cygnus Tech if we do a controlled indoor test with exactly the same angle and settings and subject and everything? Maybe Indoors Michael can help us with that. Well, I did a test with uh, the AK diffuser and the Cygnus Tech diffuser and I tested both the AK with the white under thing at the front and without it. So basically three different photos of the same subject with exactly the same camera settings and flash settings and white balance and everything the same, so we can compare them. The first thing I noticed is that it's a big difference in how much light you get out of the diffuser uh, depending on which one you're using. As I suspected, thanks to the white backside on the inside of the AK diffuser, we get more light out of the AK almost a stop more with the AK compared to the Cygnus Tech. So that is a big advantage I would say of the AK diffuser that you can use the flash at a slightly lower strength and still get the same light output, that's great. And uh, also thanks to the construction of the AK you can actually also use it off camera. You don't need to have it on the camera so if you have an external flash and you wanna like hold it from a side like this temporarily. You can do that with AK diffuser because it holds together without the camera. You can't really do that with the Cygnus Tech diffuser. But if we go back to the photos and put them side by side, we can clearly see that the best brightness you get with the white underside at the front of the AK and uh, the least brightness we get with the Cygnus Tech. If we look at the rendering of the photos, I think it is very, very similar. These photos were taken at f7.1, ISO 200, 1 250s in shutter speed, a white balance of 5500 Kelvin, and at one time magnification. And I tried to keep exactly the same angle towards my friend George here. You get a slightly softer uh, rendering with the white underside at the front on the AK. But if we compare the AK and the Cygnus Tech side by side, I think it's very hard to see any differences in the rendering. So if we are to summarize this comparison of the AK Mini and the Cygnus Tech, we can first conclude that a few things are very similar. The price is similar, both are around $100 or slightly more depending on what kit you order. They both give a very similar rendering I would say, at least if you're not using the white underpart of the AK Mini. Uh, strengths of the AK over the Cygnus Tech I would say that is that it conserves light a lot better so you get a brighter image with the same uh, flash strengths. And the main strength of the Cygnus Tech, I would say that it is very easy to assemble. And a very big factor is that you can actually fold the Cygnus Tech completely flat. So it's only like a couple of millimeters thick. And that is great because it's so easy to fold it completely and put it in the laptop compartment of your backpack. 
Unfortunately, the AK does not fold completely flat. This part, yes, that one is completely flat, uh, but this part is also completely flat. But we have this part, the big one, and as you can see, the folding here, uh, it's not possible to, comp I mean, I could force it to become completely flat, but then I think I'm almost like breaking it. Uh, so actually the other day when I went to Engse, the island, to record that video, I was thinking about taking the AK, but I didn't. I took the Cygnus Tech because the Cygnus Tech I could fold completely flat, put in my backpack very easily. And this one was kind of hard to fit in my backpack in a good way. Uh, at least my small backpack that I usually bring. Uh, if you bring the AK, I would probably just hang it on the outside of the backpack. But that is a little bit, uh, I don't know, I don't like that. Uh, so I would say that that is the main strength of the Cygnus deck, that it's a very simple design that you can very easily fold completely flat. So which one do you buy? Well, it's up to you. Look at my comparisons in this video, look at my arguments for and against, and look at the photos, and decide for yourself, I would say. And with that, over to you, Outdoors Michael. Thank you for that, Indoors Michael. If you want to know more about the Cygnus Tech Diffuser and how to order it and see more sample photos, check out my video about it here. And uh, see you soon again in another macro photography video.